Oh, it's all right, guys. What we're gonna do today? Today is a halibut day. It's pretty calm on the ocean. No wind right now. Uh, hopefully, it stays like this. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try and get some halibut on some frozen herring. I brought the Kalissa crankbait with me. I told you guys I was gonna try it out again. Had a few missed hookups last time on the Kalissa, so check out that video. I'll put it in the description below or top right corner of the video right now. Make sure to press that subscribe button with the notifications on so you can see all my new videos. I post a video once a week, usually every Thursday. Also go to howtofish.com for salmon reports, halibut reports. You can see I'm out here almost every weekend doing some type of fishing. Also check out my Instagram, how to fish for extra bonus content. All right guys, let's get out on the fishing grounds. I'll show you how to do a halibut rig check, for the check. ocean. Okay, let me show you guys my halibut setup. So I have about 30 pound mono. I have 30 pound mono, 25 pound mono for the leader and 30 pound for the main line. I have a sliding snell knot, snell knot hook here. This goes up and down depending on the size of the herring that I put on. I have a flasher and then I have a sliding weight right here attach the weight right here and then I have a bead just to protect the barrel swivel from the uh, the weight I'm gonna put a nice big fat guy on let's see if we can get a monster holly this is about like six inches we'll see so I put the snow knot under the bottom lip through the nose and then the trailing hook trailing hook I'm gonna put it right at the tail here, right underneath the skin, like so, just like that. Oh, close up. Okay. You want to have this slight little bend in your herring so that it rolls in the water, so it looks like an injured bait fish. And then the next thing is just put a weight. Yeah. I got a 12 ounce. Cool, anything? Wait here. So you want to be trolling at about, you want to be trolling at about one and a half miles an hour. Oh, something's on. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, this is a big one. Oh my god. Come on, be a halibut. Oh my god. Oh, it's a big guy. All right. Ooh. Gotta fight it. Gotta get the gaff ready. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Feels like a halibut. <laughs> oh, it's what is this? 
That's a shark. I think. Yeah. Damn. Oh my god. Jesus. It's like probably like 15 pounds. Jesus. Damn it. Took my flasher too. Oh. I should have netted it. Uh, I broke the line and took my flasher. Well, first shark, thumbs up. Lost the flasher, but thank God I went to Bass Pro and bought an extra yesterday. <laughs> I didn't bring it on this trip, but still. Oh, all right, time to retie my lines. All right, so I lost the flasher to the shark. Uh, and it's okay, the flasher's gonna come off as um, the uh, hooks rust away. In fact, they were rusty already. So the shark's gonna be okay. Um, and I just retied this, but no flasher this time. Retied this little bait hook. And yeah, let's get it back down there, guys. Thumbs up. Oh yeah, yep, copper. All right, there we go. On the board. Nice little copper in here. I don't know if I had audio on that last clip, but it was a shark and uh, I cut my line. Now I gotta retie all my lines. I'm basically out of backups, which kind of sucks, but that's all right. That's fishing for you. All right, so at least this morning has been pretty action packed. Uh, got two sharks. I don't know what type of sharks they are. They're brownish in color. Um, so if you know, comment below. Let me know what type of shark it is. And I um, uh, got one keeper rockfish, which is nice. It'll definitely be turned into delicious tacos. Okay, I have the Kalissa on right here. Oh, nice little crankbait. Let's get a halibut. 